Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. It is Thursday. Sorry, it's been several days that it's been since I have done morning devotions, but I've been at District Council. And so uh, just going to invite some people in here. Um, so I hope you've been doing well. I hope your devotions have been strong and uh, But, uh, but God is just so good. So, good morning, Kelly. Well, interesting verse. So, been at District Council for the last three days. Awesome. We've had great speakers, great fellowship, and uh, love District Council. So, here's the verse for this morning. Uh, 1 Timothy 4.12. We've heard it. We've probably even heard sermons about it. Um, but it says, Don't let anyone look down on you because of your you are young, but set an example for the believers. Um, in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Last Sunday we had a group from another church because it was National Youth Sunday. Uh, share about this verse and I thought man they did such a good job but what really stuck out to me is that in the middle of this verse it says do not let anyone look on you because you are young but set an example for the believers and we always said well don't let anyone look on you because you're young but it literally said you're young. Don't let anyone look on you because you're young. You know, because you're young, people look on you because you're young, because you're not that smart, because you're not that, you know, because they, um, because you're not um, uh, wise, you don't have lived long enough, you haven't done all this stuff. So, but it, it takes, uh, responsibility for several people number one it's your responsibility if you're young to set example it's the responsibility of the adults not to look on you because you're young but then it's it says you're young you're supposed to set example for believers right how do we do that in your speech in your conduct in your love, in your faith, in your purity. I thought when I read that, I said, but the part of it about, that I had never read, seen before was uh, in your speech um, that you set an example in, to believers, to other believers. I thought that was so key that as young people, I have known many, many godly teenagers to set, a, to be very spiritual, that they could set an example. So, anyways, think about that verse. Anyways, 1 Timothy 4.12. Many times we've seen this verse, many times we've studied this verse, many times we've looked at the first, this verse. But this morning as we look at it, um, so get out your notebook, write this verse out. Don't let anyone look down on you because you're young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, and in faith, in purity. Write that verse out, put an O, observe it, A, apply it to your life, P, pray. So, in fact, that's what we're about ready to do. Prayer request. Um, I have a friend who have found two spots on her uh, pancreas and uh, have another friend uh, another friend of a friend um, husband and wife they have cancer um, and uh, there I have a friend who is a representative and they have some bills that are pretty tough that's going on the floor even today and so 
we're going to pray for those, uh, for the decision makers, uh, that they uh, make wise decisions. I have a, a friend uh, that her, her mother is going to a heart to get her heart looked at, possible stents. Um, don't know. Do they go? But uh, so we're going to pray for that. Uh, pray for your unspokens. Um, so let's let's pray. Um, God's will to be done in all those, and then we'll pray for Abby and then uh, as well. So, all right, let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for today. I pray for those who are watching now and those who watch later. I pray that you encourage their hearts. Lord, I pray for whatever unspoken they may have. Lord, you know exactly what they are, Lord, whether they're health or uh, financial, Lord, meet those needs. Lord, you see the prayer request that I've met this, mentioned this morning. Uh, the friend that I have that has two spots on, on their pancreas, Lord God, I pray that you heal those. Lord, the couple that has cancer, Lord, will you please heal those, Lord Jesus. Um, the, the things that are going on the floor, Lord, help the decision makers of our government make wise decisions according to your will, according to your purpose. Lord, I pray for this a friend's mother who is going to the heart doctor today that Lord that you just will uh, give the doctors wisdom and Lord I thank you for that Lord, I pray for Abby today Lord that you just help her as she goes to um, the the that she does the things that she does will be what keep her safe as she's in Panama and she does great exploits for you Lord I just thank you so much Lord I pray that you bless, Lord, and use and, and use that team over there. Lord, I pray for today, Lord, that we may be a blessing to those that we come in contact with. Lord, I thank you for that. In your name, amen. Well, have an awesome day. This is the one and only for this week. And so uh, I want to invite you that if you live in Coffee County, you live in Burlington, area, God has really just given me a, a, a sermon for this Sunday. Uh, it's entitled Start Today, and so join us on Sunday uh, at 1030. I really believe this is going to encourage you, going to challenge you, going to really inspire you to start something today. And so uh, come out and join us on Sunday at 1030, corner of 9th and Yuba, 416 South 9th. Come join us. God wants to speak into your life. If I don't see you Sunday, I'll see you next Monday for morning devotions at 6 a.m. God bless you. Love you guys. Have an awesome, blessed day. Love you guys.